there's some data, some statistics that show the prevalence of violence among people that are either dealing with mental health issues or that have been the victim of a crime. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So what we've seen with our mass shootings is that the majority of the individuals who have engaged in those behaviors mm -hmm. have some sort of history of domestic violence, whether they have been a perpetrator themselves or they've been in the victim. Mm -hmm. And so that is a significant red flag that we want to look for. Uh, we also see a significant number of workplace violence incidents that involve a partner of an employee coming to campus and engaging in uh, violent behavior. And so there's another element there, and we really encourage campuses to have a bit or some sort of process that addresses those employee pieces yeah. as well mm -hmm. when we have an employee of concern or employee who's in crisis. Mm -hmm. And so we can ensure that those violent situations don't come to campus as best as possible. Yeah, and I think that's a good example of how BITS can support the work of Title IX. Because in many of those cases, it may not be under the jurisdiction of Title IX. It may not be something that um, you would be able to address through your process. But as a bit but that has a broader scope, we may be able to put some um, measures in place that support the individuals and keep our community safe in a way that Title IX is not able to do. Absolutely. And we, and we really rely on those resources that are available through the BIT, especially with law enforcement and counseling and other supports uh, to help keep the community safe. Yeah.